There's magic in your backyard. Go and find it! We'll head around to all the towns, head away all the day. South Aussie with cars is on, sit down. South Aussie with cars Welcome to another episode of South Aussie with Cozzy. My name's Cozzy and I was born in Murray Bridge. I grew up in Kadena, studied at Roseworthy College, and now I dedicate my entire life to finding you guys the best places to visit in South Australia and places that won't cost you the earth. This place is Hancock's Lookout. It's great because you can see all the way to Port Augusta, you can see all the way down the Gulf, and to get here, you just take Horrocks Pass. You know, I think when it comes to a holiday, it's not the destination, but it's the journey that really, really counts. It's kind of cool to do a South Australian road trip, and I want to bring them back. I want to see more people doing a road trip here in South Australia. And the good news is that SA Tourism have made it super easy for everybody, so you won't miss a thing. They've identified five self-drive itineraries that'll take you into the heart of the outback, along stunning coastline, through food and wine regions, and along the Murray River. But first up, let's have a look at what's on the show. We're going to be doing part of one of the five SA touring routes that SA Tourism's put together and we'll be heading to Port Augusta. Shay from the Wadlada Outback Centre shows us how to make a Kwandong milkshake. Jamie Oliver ain't got nothing on me. We'll show you the <laughs> coolest spot to stay in Port Augusta. It's called Majestic Oasis Apartments. But first up, something you can do without even leaving the city. You think Rundle Mall, you think 500 metres of some of the best shops in South Australia. When I think Rundle Mall, I think it's a great opportunity to come and stay a night in the city. Around the Rundle Mall precinct, there's loads of hotels you can choose from, like the one behind us, the Ibis Hotel. So you come into the city, you book a night, you do some shopping, and then you've got to find somewhere to eat. Well, a fiori means amongst the flowers in Italian. A lot of the uh, desserts have edible flowers on them. My personal favourite is the tiramisu. It looks really beautiful on the plate. We do some amazing food, generous portions. My personal favourite would be the lamb rack. That's very popular with the customers. Cooked to perfection is just fantastic. I can't believe that not even one of my friends rocked up. Rundle Mall has actually been opened two years longer than I've been alive. And since then, just like me, the mall's grown quite a bit. So I encourage everybody to not just visit the city centre and the mall, but look for all of the offshoots because the city is a buzz. There's loads happening, including this lamb. King William Street's really come alive. The, the mall looks amazing these days. It's had a complete facelift. It just seems like in the last few years or so, the whole city's just undergone a complete transformation with Adelaide Oval and everything. And it's just vibrant, it's just alive. Now I bet most of you, probably 70% of you, have been to Port Augusta before. But I bet you've just stopped here, grabbed petrol, and then headed on to Darwin, Perth, Port Lincoln, Wyala. What I'm saying is, Port Augusta is a place you need to stop, unpack, relax, and stay the night, or at least stay the afternoon. And one bloke that agrees with me is the local mayor, Sam Johnson. Port Augusta is a, a beautiful place, it's a great place, it's somewhere I've called home my entire life, in fact I'm fourth generation to Port Augusta. The area we're on at the moment is our probably pinnacle asset, it's our foreshore area which underwent a major transformation some 10 to 12 years ago where we put a, quite a significant amount of money into doing up this side and also the other side as well because we figured it's our, it's our major asset, it's our waterway and also we have the beautiful Flinders Ranges which is our backdrop in the background. The good thing about the Port Augusta foreshore area is it caters to everyone more relaxed, everyone knows each other, everyone, you know, you can talk to one person, they seem to nod another and word just gets around and everyone's friends with everybody. you got people who come down and exercise quite regularly, do their morning walks and we have uh, boot camp training sessions. We get our elderly people that you'll see throughout the day that'll come down. We get a lot of families throughout the day as well. So you'll see there's a, a quite a good playground, there's a picnic area as well and a little basketball hoop. So you'll see the, the young mums or young families come down throughout the day and have lunch with the kids. Now on weekends you'll see a lot of kids as well coming down on their bikes and having a bit of fun and also they take advantage of the water. They'll get their kayaks out and they'll go down and make sand castles on the beach and just do all that really basic family fun stuff. The key to a successful road trip in South Australia is finding the best toilets for you and the kids. This one here in Port Augusta, it's a, a favourite of mine, possibly my favourite toilet in South Australia. Check this out. Automatic, press this. Sounds a little weird but follow me in, follow me in. And so in here, self-cleaning, so it's always clean. 
and music. Doesn't it just make you relax? If you stay in the cubicle too long, the wash cycle may continue. So get your job done and get out of here. Port Augusta's history dates well and truly back to the mid 1800s when we were first obviously settled and people come along and we had our first four buildings built in Port Augusta. And its major starting point was actually when the company Elders also started in the mid 1800s. When Elders decided to establish as a, a wool and merchant broker carting their wool back to England, it wasn't until Thomas Elder came out into the late 1850s and decided he could actually make a go out of actually running sheep and cattle and using camels as part of his transport. So when that actually took off, that was the real formation of Port Augusta and then obviously from that logistics came into it and then we became the railway town, then we became the powerhouse town and now we're becoming more of a renewable energy and also tourism town. Yeah, so some things about Port Augusta is it's a roughly 300 kilometre drive from Adelaide, so you know, to us country people that's a, an easy day trip down and back, an easy place to travel. In terms of rainfall, we're renowned for being an arid part of South Australia and we get about 250 mils per annum and usually we get about two massive rains per year which might be 50 or 60 mils at once and then you get a few smaller rains throughout the year. And the population's just shy of 15,000 and we've had quite a steady population growth ever since our downturn in the 90s. Port Augusta itself and also the Forshaw area is completely free. It's a great place to come. It costs you nothing. You park your car, you get out, you've got a barbecue you can use. It'll cost you absolutely nothing except for your time. Welcome back, folks. SA Touring Routes, that's what I'm talking about. Change your life, just go and do one. A road trip's even better, ladies and gentlemen, when you get yourself some free accommodation. And good old Uncle Cozzy, he's got you sorted out there. Listen up, folks, we've got heaps of free holidays to give away. How's four nights in any Discovery Holiday Park sound? Well, you can stay in one of their fancy cabins as well. There's six Discovery Holiday Parks located all around SA, including Clare, Barmer, Robe, Wyala and Semaphore. Plus, their newest park is a cracker. Discovery Holiday Park in Tanunda, Barossa Valley. This place is awesome and it's the perfect location for hanging out in the Barossa. If you win, you can choose which one of the parks you'd like to stay at. Only takes two seconds to enter. Jump on Facebook right now, why not? Head to the South Aussie with Cozzy page and enter. One of the greatest things in Port Augusta, particularly that tourist, I strongly recommend Wadalata Outback Centre. And we built that back in the early to mid 1980s. And it's, it's really interactive, it's an interpretive centre. It's one of those places where you can just go and get lost in the full history of Port Augusta. It goes right back to the early days and it's a, a very visual place to go. You can touch and feel. And the way it's designed, it takes you well and truly outside of mainland world and you're encapsulated in this part of Port Augusta and it very strategically steeps you through Port Augusta and some certain things that are quite significant to us and our history and where we've come from. Guadalata is a, a major tourist attraction for the region. We've won six state tourism awards since we've been open. We for a bicentennial project opened in 1988 and we attract probably about 104,000 people a year. It's fantastic for the region but for the visitor too because it's a tunnel of time, it's a journey through time so it's something for everybody. It's teaching people, it's, it's getting people to understand the region that they're going to go and visit. So they go there armed with all of the information that they need and, and knowledge about the places that they probably wouldn't have known about before. So tell me about when you first walk in, what do we come across? Well we walked through Max, the Megalania, and we walked through into uh, Akara. Akara is a big rainbow serpent that came down from Yaki, high up in Flinders Ranges, he came to Lake Frome and he gouged out all the gorges. So that's it, how Aboriginal people, how they believe the Flinders Ranges was formed. So this is unfenced area, it's open grazing. We house the accredited information centre for the region and Port Augusta obviously, but this whole tunnel of time is an information source for the region. The Wadlata Outback Centre has actually got its own cafe in here. It's called the Outback Tucker Box. Shay's one of the, I'm going to call him a chef. Mate, what's your famous dish? Here we have is a Kwandong smoothie, which is made out of condensed Kwandongs and citric acid. Now we mm. mould this here down together into a very raw kind of form. As you see, it doesn't look too pretty, but it tastes amazing. Now uh -huh. the Kwandong is the native peach. Like I sort of described the taste as more of like a rhubarb kind of tart 
kind of taste. And I love the fact you're using Golden North ice yes, cream. Yes, Golden North ice cream, which is completely local yes. ice cream as well. We only lose, we love to use local um, produce and support our local businesses around the area. Yep. Yeah. Milk from Chinese cows. Yes, milk from Chinese cows, unfortunately, <laughs> and skim milk too because I'm watching my figure. <laughs> yep. And now here we're going to start with some ice cream. And we want to be generous here with the ice cream. This is kind of like your own cooking show. Jamie Oliver ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> And now here we go. We're going to add our star of the dish, which is the crondons. There we go. And a little bit of milk. The more milk that you put in, the more it will come out like a milkshake, so I don't like to put too much in. I like it to be quite thick. Yep, yep, fair enough. Yep. I have the overwhelming kind of taste as well. You get it like the subtle hits of the condom, which yep. is really, really nice. And last but not least, into the cup. Our condom smoothie. Well, Shay, good work, mate. I couldn't have done it without you. Let's t taste it. That's good. So would you come back and try it again? No. No, yes, <laughs> I, would, I would. I would. That's really good. Cool. That's really good, mate. I'm glad well you enjoyed it. Glad and you local, you can it. taste the South yes, Australia. Sir. You can taste mm. the pudding mm. stuff. <laughs> Quiet eating. <laughs> Send in your photos, gang. I absolutely love it. Now, Lockie Cameron is pretty handy with his camera shooting these dolphins around York Peninsula. Have a look at that. It gets even better, though, because Facebook buddy Russell sent me in this photo of his family's trip to Streaky Bay over on EP. So, there they were on the beach. Potter Dolphins rocks up to say hello. Boogie boarding with the dolphins, if you don't mind. Then, Russell snaps his shot of his daughter, and this shot, I think, summarises South Australia. Have a look at that. Mind-blowingly awesome. Don't you just wish you had a photo like that? I actually put it up on the South Aussie with Cozzy Facebook page, and it got over 4,000 likes in the first few hours, and rightly so. Did you know there's over 100,000 South Aussies on the SA with Cozzy page? And there's only one that's missing, and it's you. Get on board, we have a heap of fun on there. And if you take any awesome photos around South Australia, please send them in to me on Facebook or the website, and you can find yourself starring on the Adelaide Arcade viewers clip. Adelaide Arcade, the home of shopping in Adelaide. South Aussie with Cozzy. Welcome back, folks. We're doing the Great South Australian Road Trip, which is actually nowadays made easier, all thanks to SA Tourism. Let me show you what I've done. Out of the way, Fatso. This thing here is basically an interactive way to travel. You choose where you want to go. They've identified five touring routes throughout South Australia. We're doing the Explorer's Way, kind of, Adelaide up to Port Augusta. Click on the map. Bang, up comes your map and check this out. This is where it gets good. We're doing from Adelaide to Port Augusta. Okay, cool, watch this. You're gonna love this. Okay, so there's the road, there's your map. You wanna know where the things to do are? Bang, up they come. You wanna know where to stay? You press places to stay. Look at all the options. We wanna stay in Port Augusta, that's where we are right now. So you highlight it, and then here's all your accommodation options. Highway one motel, uh, Majestic Oasis Apartments. You want more information on that? Bang, there it is. All your information, all your contact details, everything about the hotel. Check that out. It's rated like four out of five stars. So that's where we're gonna stay. So let's head off to the Majestic Oasis Apartments, but if you want more information on this, just go to southaustralia.com. I love the South Australian Tourism website that shows you these itineraries and it hooks you up with the best places to stay. Like this place here, it's apartment style, it's right on the foreshore, and from what everybody tells you on Facebook, if you're staying in Port Augusta, this is where you should be staying. The Majestic Oasis Apartments, located on the foreshore in Port Augusta and right in the centre of Port Augusta. So the shops are about 100 metres away from us, and we've got uh, the beach about 50 metres from us. We have 75 apartments made up of studio, one bedroom and two bedroom and spa suites. We offer a swimming pool outside, we have barbecues, the units are all self-contained, there's sofa beds in the rooms, so we can accommodate up to six people in the room, so it's ideal for a family to come and uh, stay at Majestic Races Apartments. I love these apartments, they're, they're one of those kind of rooms that you just walk into and you just go wow. And you know when you, you choose a hotel or an apartment, there's that feeling when you first open the door, you take that first step in and you're kind of excited and it's either wow or oh, this is a real wow. I mean look at the, 
the balcony view. Isn't it something else? The location, as Anthony said, is second to none, but, but I just picture myself out here, uh, either with the wife or with the entire family, eating on this balcony, having a couple of drinks, drinking a local bundalier wine, and just enjoying sunset over Port Augusta. The other thing is, going to places like this, you save big bucks, because why not just sit here with a takeaway pizza that's been delivered and save yourself mega bucks or you can cook your own dinner you don't have to go out to restaurants all the time or make your own breakfast saves you mega bucks so we certainly try to make it affordable for families to come on site kids can run around the property enjoy our facilities they've got the beach nearby it's a great spot to bring the families the most popular area on site would be the swimming pool it's a great area to relax We've got barbecues, sun lounges, so it's just a great place. There's 75 apartments that you can choose from here in this complex. The location is divine, and you've even got some of the neighbours that you're going to have to share the place with. The pink galah. You're flaming galah! No, no, mate. Up. If you're heading up north, book a couple of nights in the majestic Oasis apartments, and before you know it, you'll be loving Port Augusta as much as the locals do. I was born and bred in Port Augusta. I've worked at the Majestic Grace Apartments for six years. But Port Augusta is just uh, close to my heart. It's uh, just something unique about our location with the, the water being so close, the Flinders Ranges with an easy drive. It's just a lifestyle. It's just a great town to bring up a family and, and be part of. G'day there, we're having a look around a town I'm guilty of driving past for the last 35 years and I've only ever stopped for petrol. Can you guess which town? It's actually Port Augusta. Now I've spent a few days here and I'm telling you, I'll never drive past again. This place is awesome. The local mayor Sam is flat out passionate about this town and also going crabbing. Sam, I know that Port Augusta is famous for these guys, the blue swimmer crab. They are, mate. What do they mean to this area? Yeah, well, they're, they're really part of the locals, if anything. I mean, blue swimmer crabs have been here forever and a day. As you can see, they're beautiful crab, good sized crab. It's probably a, a smallish one compared to what we normally get. And it's really part of summer lifestyle, really. A lot of people, shackies and boaties will be out in summertime, enjoying a few crabs. A couple hours, you'll get yourself 30, 40, 50 crabs. The amazing thing about this area, and it constantly blows me away, is that you've got hills either side, yet you've got all this beautiful stretch of water. And I mean, it's even a, a little bit rougher today, but sometimes it's, it's dead calm. Absolutely. Yeah, in summertime, like 40 degree heat, if you're out here about 7, 7.30 in the morning, absolutely picturesque. Grab yourself 40 crabs, go and sit on the beach down the shack, cook them, clean them, a few beers. Away you go. Perfect. Best time of year for these guys? Summertime. Summertime. Perfect for the tourists. Absolutely. I guess in memory of the late Rex Hunt, who's not actually late yet, we should kiss and release this one. So, uh, wow, how do we do this? It's kind of awkward. Um, mwah. I believe here in Port Augusta, I've become at one with nature. So much so that I trust this crab enough that I'm actually going to put my finger in his claw. Look at that, huh? Kids, don't try this at home. One of the most affordable holidays you can actually do here in South Australia is shack holidays. When it comes to Port Augusta, you've got some pretty good locations. Oh, fantastic, mate. As you can see behind us here, we got up to 250 plus shacks. A very big part of Port Augusta's history. In fact, I spent a lot of my childhood years down the shacks. It was relaxed, you're away from the hustle and bustle. Everyone enjoys good family company, barbecues, great fishing, and the location itself, as you can see. Oh, you've got it, the Baxter Ranges, Flinders Ranges yep. right in front of you. And to be so close to the ocean. But the, the thing is, so many people have never ever done a shack holiday in their lives before. You have, I have. What is it you love about them that makes them so special? It's just the fact that they're so relaxing. You, know? yep. you can stay in a, a unit or a motel or whatever, and they're great. But when you're down the shacks, you know, you've got the thongs on, it's, you've got the family, the friends, everything's just so peaceful. And don't just take uh, Sambo's advice or mine. I'll tell you, another fan of this area is Mark Rusciuto, Crow's legend. Uh, his wife, darling wife, Sarah, comes from up this way. Rue reckons that the shack holidays up this end of town are the best you'll find. The shacks at Port Augusta are as good as anywhere in South Australia. If you haven't been there, find a shack you can rent. It's perfect for kids. There's fish, there's crabs, uh, relaxation, good beach, and uh, just a fantastic way to have a relaxing week. 
Here's the thing, gang. I reckon we work too hard. Our lives are so stressed because we're constantly on. It's emails, it's text messages, it's meetings or school runs, washing, cleaning. It's go, go, go. And if we don't allow ourselves time to switch off, I think the outcome's terrifying. Our relationships, our health, our lives are all going to suffer. I do this show to hopefully encourage you guys to switch off at least for a day or a weekend and take yourself some well-deserved time off. On March the 11th, way back in 1802, the legendary Matthew Flinders the Explorer took his little wooden boat up through that stretch of water. He looked over these cliffs and he thought what I'm thinking right now, like simply wow. And then of course, years later, those ranges were named the Flinders Ranges after Matthew Flinders. I gotta say, we gotta wrap the show up here, but I for years have underestimated how good Port Augusta is. I'm a little bit guilty of saying, well, oh, we'll get petrol there and we'll push on. Today and yesterday in Port Augusta have really opened my eyes to how much this town has to offer as far as tourism goes. So we've taken you from Adelaide, we've finished in Port Augusta, and from here you can go wherever you want. The holidays in South Australia where you get in the car and you just do a trip are A grade. SA Tourism has made it really, really easy with five of the best touring routes and their itineraries up on the website. You check that out at southaustralia.com and I'll see you on the road somewhere. In South Australia we will go head away holiday. South Aussie with Cozzy is proudly brought to you by the South Australian Tourism Commission. South Aussie with Cozzy. I like push -ups.